Say hello to my book. Hello! Yeah, okay. So this video is 20, 21 things I learned in my 21 years. I think that I'm allowed to do this because 22 is just around the corner and I've learned a lot in these 21 years, believe me. So this year, you didn't watch my last video or you just didn't know. This year, a lot of things happened in my life and in my family. It was very, very, very hard, very, very transformative, but it did shape me as a human being. Like I genuinely feel like I wouldn't be who I am right now if I didn't go through these things. Um, so basically, uh, my little brother died this year. He was, he died from cerebral palsy. Um, so it, it, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, that's the most major thing that's ever happened in my life. And I found that I, in the midst of like the grieving process, there were times when I really needed to hear certain things. And somehow I found those things along the way. I don't know, sometimes the universe just sends me people who tell me things that are like exactly what I need to hear in the moment or I find something within myself that I realized was always there and something that I already knew I just need to, needed to remind myself of. So this video is gonna like anybody out there who's going through something and needs to hear some type of encouragement I'm here to do that. Or if you're just 21 and if you wanted to know what other 21 year olds learned this year, welcome. But um, the year is gonna end soon. We're stepping into 2019. I have mixed emotions about it. I'm, I'm very like, I wanna go in there with, with a positive mindset and all of that stuff, but it's, it's hard going into a year without my brother. It's hard, it's weird going into a year and knowing that he won't be a part of that year. But, yeah. Here are the 21 things I learned in, this t in these 21 years. First thing I learned, now, this I learned this on a day when I was having a really, really bad day. I was going to class and it was just very rough and I didn't want to be there. I didn't really want to go anywhere, I didn't want to take a shower, I didn't want to put on clothes, I didn't want to see anybody. It was a horrible day, but something just told me, you know, just get ready, just go to school, do this thing, you have this one class, go. And this girl saw me, she sits beside me in every class, and then she just saw me this one, and she's like, what's wrong with you? And I was just explaining to her my situation and how I was feeling that day, and she said to me, the only thing that's definite in this lifetime is you. And that resonated with me and stuck with me. And I had to like write it down in my notebook and be like, oh, I have to, this is, this is big. I'm like, did God send you? <laughs> did the universe send you? Like you, you just said something that I needed to hear at this time. So yeah, the universe sent her to me and it stuck. She's, she's one of my good friends now. Number two, know that you are resilient. You know like how people always say that children are resilient? I feel like I, I respect kids so much and like their resilience is so honorable and I just, it's beautiful. So I just know within myself that that childhood resilience that I've had, that have kept me going, it's still here. To be kind always. I know that's difficult sometimes for some people. Um, even when you're being challenged with negative people or people that are just mean or rude or hurtful, I find that being kind is the best vengeance. Because no one can say anything. I was kind to you. And just being kind in general just helps the world so much more than when you're being like a dick. So just be nice and be kind to people no matter who you are or who you're talking to. Number four, very, very, very important. Be gentle with yourself. <laughs> this is extremely important. Um, I have to remind myself this every single day because nobody can beat me up more than I can beat myself up. I 
beat myself up so hard over the stupidest things but like I have to remind myself be gentle you're a very delicate glass case that can be broken you know and you need to handle yourself with care because nobody else is really going to handle you with care like you would you have to take care of yourself and you have to be very gentle with yourself mind body spirit whatever it is if you know it's gonna mess with you mm -mm, cut it out it's not it's not worth it <laughs> trust me number five no matter how ugly the world might seem there are still good people in it trust me i have met them and the universe will find a way to get them to you they will they will naturally find their way beside you and find their way along your path just even though the world can be super ugly and there's some really mean people out there the good ones are still they st we still exist we're here we're here um number six eat the damn cookie <laughs> eat the cookie don't this called living live your life eat the cookie and the whole milk okay if you want to if it makes you happy eat the cookie when it comes to friendships or relationships or whatever it is it's best to um that's my number seven sorry it's best to not have any expectations i think i think it's it's better to just let people surprise you by themselves like don't expect too much from people because Sometimes that leads to disappointment and you're kind of lining yourself up for disappointment when you do that. So just don't expect anything and let them surprise you. A cup of tea is like a warm hug. A cup of tea and a Disney movie, if you're feeling blue, let that happen. Sometimes people are only in your life for seasons. <laughs> If you know where that's from, logic. I don't know if he made that up. Maybe somebody else made it up and he just put it in his song. But it did resonate with me. Um, not everybody that enters your life is meant to stay in your life. Some people, they just go on a different path or go on a different route. And that doesn't mean that they never re-enter your life. They could come along your path in the future or they don't. Sometimes people just enter your life temporarily and that's okay and not everybody that leaves your life is a bad person it's just that if they're meant to be on your path they will naturally flow on your path so dance the darkness away <laughs> if you're feeling depressed I know it's hard to say that but what I do is I dance like a weird mad woman I know my mom just slipped a <laughs> she just slipped a note under the door. I will need to get in the bathroom at least at 4 30. I'm going out at 5 p.m. I know mom, this is gonna take this is gonna be really quick, okay? okay Super quick because my mom has to go out at 5 p.m. Alright. Dance the darkness away. Dance away that depression. Sounds bad. Or not bad or weird, but like I do that like weirdly. I that this song everybody knows this song, Sunflower by Post Malone. I know it's just on the radio and it's like a regular radio song and it's not cool. But that song makes me it very it uplifts me and I just dance to it when I'm feeling really blue. I'm just like I'm a sunflower. It's just how it's gonna be today. Um, number eleven. If you have lost somebody this year in 2018. I kind of want you to know that death is not the end. At least I don't believe that it's the end. I just feel like, not that I see my brother's ghost or anything, but I feel him. And there are times where I feel like I'm supported in some way, but it's something that I don't see. So, um, yeah, it's not the end. I, I can honestly promise you that it's, it's not the end. Friends will always be there. Honestly, when have they not been available? I mean the TV show. <laughs> friends, the TV show. Sometimes your friends aren't available when you're having a crisis. They're conveniently just not available or they just have something going on. But the TV show will always be there. Just saying. I kind of... Ross hit me up. Number 13. We're just going to talk about depression as the darkness, right? We all go through it at some point in life. 
can call it a Dementor if you want, if you're a Harry Potter fan like me, but I just call it the, the darkness. The darkness the darkness hates laughter, so never be short of it. It literally hates like I find when I'm most depressed, if I just laugh, honestly I sound like a mad woman, but if I laugh, I feel like the darkness gets angry and it just like leaves. Just exits my life. Like I I find things to uplift me and make me laugh and be like <laughs> I'm just not gonna take life seriously today. It's just not gonna happen. Number 14. Children never lie. They always tell the truth. That's what I learned in my 21st year. It's kind of odd. Like, I don't really think they lie. I think they're so honest and truthful. Like, these nails, I try to convince myself they look horrible that they were pink. And I, all I have to do to ask the truth is ask my little coach. She's like, no, they're orange. They always tell me the truth. If I don't look good in my outfit, I will ask a child and they will tell me yes or no and I will believe them over an adult, trust me. Number 15, know that something in the universe has your back. If you trust in it, you can call it God, Buddha, Allah, I don't know, the universe, mother nature. Something has your back. You're not alone in this game and Believe it or not, there are people that are probably understanding, probably going through the same thing you are. You just don't see them or they don't talk about it. Don't let anybody make you feel stupid if you decide to like change your diet or think about things you put in your body. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> don't let anyone make you feel stupid. I feel like at one point I was just like, no, I don't want to eat this. I want to do. I don't want to eat that. I'm not a picky eater. I eat anything I want to eat, really. But like, um. Certain, I have certain health conditions where certain things that I eat doesn't really work well with me and I have a very sensitive stomach and I just, I kind of felt embarrassed about it at first like oh I can't eat that and everyone's gonna think that I'm going on a health diet or that I'm vegan or whatever but I was just like no if I don't feel like eating it or if it doesn't make my body feel good I'm, who cares I'm just gonna eat what I feel is right for me. So no shame in that game. If you have any health conditions that force you to change your diet, do it. I don't know why. I guess it's not that shameful, but for me at 21, I was embarrassed about it. I don't know why. This is what, there are people out there who will probably try and tear you down and make you think that um, you can't do something. So when somebody did this to me this year, I was. they said, um, there's no place for me and there's no path for me. So, my response was, if there is no place for me, I make a place. And if there is no path, I will make a path. So, if anyone tries to tear you down or make you feel like you can't do something, all the better to do it. Get it done. Everything is as it should be. Life is, has a way of working itself out. So, whatever situation or predicament you're in right now, everything is as it should be. I know it sounds bad. Maybe you're in a really, really horrible, tight spot. But I kind of believe that everything happens for a reason and um, you're probably supposed to be in that spot and it's supposed to teach you something. So life kind of has a way of working out or changing. Nothing ever stays the same. So things are always going to change. Your situation will change whether you want it to or not. Through your wounds, the light will seep in. <laughs> I don't know where I heard this. I didn't make this up. I, I heard it somewhere, but I can't remember where. Somebody said, through your wounds, the light will seep in. And I just honestly believe that. I'm a big, big um, light person, you know, like my brother's name means my light in Hebrew. So the word light and my first word was light when I was a baby. So the word light is just significant in my life. So let that light seep in, girl or boy. All of these things that I mentioned earlier, also remember that you are only human. So there's no way to be perfect. There's no way to dance the darkness away completely or ever have everything exit your life or just be so in control and poised and, and spiritually advanced. There's, you're only human. So you will dip, you will fall, things will get messed up, you'll be in tough spots. People will exit your life, things will be very painful, but know that you are allowed to go through that pain and it's okay to feel that pain because you're human. And that's this thing that we call life. That's why 
we're here and, and that's what life means to us. So um, allow yourself to go through that pain and don't feel like you need to be poised or perfect or not feel unhappy. You're perfectly entitled to feel that way when you do. And it's probably best to sit with those feelings and go through them than to ignore them and pretend they're not there because you can't run away from yourself. I heard this from somebody. I don't remember that person's name, but somebody told me this. Um, don't let the circumstances or obstacles defeat you. You're setting the foundation for your future right now. Your future self will handle the rest, best believe. Um, yeah, I heard this. I'm trying to figure out. I don't remember. Somebody told me this. Somebody very special told me this. Um, the universe sent some very special people my way, good and bad, this year, and they each taught me something different. So this is that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here, guys, because my mom has to go somewhere at 5 p.m. But thank you for um, watching this video. If you got something for it, I, I hope that it helped you in some way. I f I felt like often when I'm down or when I'm not feeling good words of encouragement or just uplifting or knowing that somebody understands how you feel sometimes just helps i hope this helps um i only want to spread love and light on this channel i only want to be like this be like a safe space you know like no shame no judgment just like let it all hang here's a warm hug in the way i hugged you today and a nice cup of tea Anyway, bye guys. I love you. See you next video.